Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because, because we want to improve our math skill. For the last couple of days, we have been doing some percentage problem, and today is our lesson number 36. We're going to continue with the percentage problem, percentage problems, set number three. Let's get going. The very first problem we have here is simply asking us 45 is 25 percent of what? 45 is 25 percent of what? Very simple, very straightforward question. The key to doing the percentage problem in making sure that the equation that you come up with at the end is in fact the right equation because that's the most common mistake. People, people end up making mistakes in setting up the equation and if the equation itself is wrong then of course the answer is going to be wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good you are at solving the equation. If the equation itself is wrong, then it's no good. Here is how we set up the equation. The key to setting up a right equation when we're doing a percentage problem is to translate one word at a time. One word at a time. So that's what we're going to do. 45. 45. Is means equal. Is means equal. 25. 45 is 25 percent. Percent means percent means over 100 or out of 100 or per 100 that's what the word percent literally means percent means exactly that it means per 100 per 100 or out of 100 25 out of 100 off means times off means multiply or times. That's it. That's what we have to understand. So 45 is 25 percent of what? And then we just simply have to solve for x. Or what is the unknown? What is the unknown which traditionally we represent we represented with letter x but of course you could use any letter you want. Let's, let's multiply both sides by 100. When we multiply both sides by 100 this 100 drops out to that 100 we end up with 25 times x. 25x equals 100 times 45. 100 times 45. And don't waste your time. Don't waste your time multiplying it out right now. Save it until the end. Divide both sides by 25. Divide both sides by 25 so that we can get rid of this 25 from here. 25 is going to drop out and x equals 100 times 45 over 25. And now we're going to do our reducing. Now we're going to do the reduction. Now we're going to do the simplification. We see 100 on the top. We see 25 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 25. If we divide top and bottom by 25, 100 has 4, 25. So it's just 4 times 45. The answer is 4 times 45. And we know that double of 45, if you double the 45, we get 90. And if you double 90 one more time, we get 180. That's it. And of course, it would have to be 4 times 45 because another way, another way, a quicker way, a simpler way to look at this problem is this. The question is, 45 is... 25% of what? What well, 25% is a quarter. 25% means a quarter. The question is, so the question simply is, 45 is quarter of what? Well, 45 is quarter of, 45 is quarter of, 45 times 4. That's it, which is 180. Let's do one more. Remember, percent means per 100. Percent means per 100. Is means equals. Of means times. Of means times. What is your unknown? Percent means out of 100. Is means equal. Let's do one more. 8.5 is what percent? of 1700. 8.5 is what percent of 1700? Now if you like, you could actually pause the video and do the same thing what we did just now. Set up the equation, do it yourself. You'll get more out of it that way. 8.5 is, we know, is means equals. What means our unknown, which we represent with letter x percent means out of 100 
of means times 1700. That's it. We see a 100 at the bottom. We need to get rid of this 100. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 100. If we multiply both sides of the equation by 100, this 100 is going to drop out with that 100 and we'll end up with x times 1700 or 1700x equals 100, 100 times 8.5. Let's divide both sides by 1700. And when you do that, we see that on the top we have 100, on the bottom we have 1700. 1700 has 17100, which is why it's called 1700. Let's divide top and bottom by 100. So the 100 drops out and the two zeros go up here. here. So it is 8.5 over 17. And what fraction would that be? 8.5 over 17. We know half of 16. How much is half of 16? Half of 16 is... Half of 16 is 8. We have 17. And therefore, 8 and a half is a half of 17. 8 and a half is a half of 17. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put, put out... So what, what we're claiming is that the answer is half. Not half percent, but half. What we're going to do is, where we see the word what here in the problem, wherever we see the word what, we're going to replace it with two, because that's what we were solving for. We were solving for this unknown, what, and that turns out to be half. Let's put it in here, and now the question reads, now the question reads, eight and a half is, eight and a half is, half a percent of 1700. Eight and a half is half a percent of 1700. Let's see if it actually makes sense. Let's see if it actually makes sense. What can we do it? We need the room. We're going to have to erase it. Well, we know 10% of 1700. How much is 10% of 1700? Whenever we want to find 10% of something, 10% means take a tenth of it. And if you want to take a tenth of it, you just drop one zero. It's going to be 170. 170 represents 10%. Therefore, therefore, 1% of 1700 should be 17, which makes perfect sense, but that's exactly why it's called 1700. 1700 means there are 17 of them, and therefore 1% 1 of 100 is 1, therefore 1% 1 of 1700 should be 17. So that's 1%. Let's take a half of that. If we take a half of that, we have to take a half of that. And what we find is that now half a percent of 1700 is 17 over 2, which in fact is 8.5, which is exactly what we are claiming here. What we are claiming is that 8.5 is half a percent of 1700. So when we plug in half for the unknown, it works. 8.5 is indeed half a percent of 1700, because 1% 1 is 17, and 8.5 is half of 17. Let's do one more, shall we? Number 3. Number three. The question simply is 30% of 25 is what? 30% of 25 is what? Again, same exact same exact logic, same exact same exact method, same exact method, same exact logic, same exact rationale, which is simply to translate one word at a time until the equation emerges by itself. 30% means over 100. Of, of means, of means times 25. Is means equal. And what is our unknown. That's it. So here we don't have to do any manipulation. X is there by itself. We just have to figure out this part. Let's divide top and bottom by 25. I see 25 on the top. I see 100 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 25. And we know there are 100. 100 has 425. So we get 30 over 4. X equals 30 over 4. Half of 30 is 15. And half of 15 is 7 and a half. So what we're claiming is that 30% of 25 is... What we're claiming is that 30% of 25 is... Seven and a half, because wherever we, wherever we see the word, word what, we replace it with the value of the what that we found. The what was our x here, that we, we're claiming the x is seven and a half. 
we replace with the word we replace uh, the word what with the answer seven and a half put it back in the problem and see if it works that's what we're going to do let's do it here we'll, we're dealing with 25 we know 10 percent 10 percent of 25 how much do you suppose 10 percent of 25 10 percent of 25 is going to be two and a half it's going to be two and a half if 10 percent of 25 is two and a half or 2.5 then it stands to reason that 30% should be 3 times the amount. 30% should be 3 times this amount. How much is 3 times? How much is 3 times? 3 times 2.5, do you suppose? 3 times 2.5, that's pretty straightforward to figure out. Break it up. 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times half, 3 times half is 3 halves. Because there are three of them. There is a half here and then we must multiply it by three. So we're going to end up with three of them. Three halves. Three halves is right there. Which of course is the same as six plus two halves plus a half. And of course two halves is just one. One, one whole thing has two halves in it. So it's six plus one plus half. Six plus one plus six plus one plus half is seven and a half. They match. It turns out that 10% of, of 25 is 2.5 and, and therefore 3 times 2.5 would be 7.5 which would represent the 30%. Let's do one more, shall we? The next question is number 4 150% of 68 is what? 150% of 68 is what? Let's find out. 150% percent means over 100. Off means times. Off means times. 68 is means equals. And what is our unknown? Don't confuse. This is my unknown and this is my multiplication sign. For the multiplication sign, I raise my hand. Unknown, the x is continuous. So that's it. We have our x by itself. We just have to simplify it. Let's do it together. We see 150 on the top. We see 100 at the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 50. Let's divide top and bottom by 50. 150 has three fifties and 100 has two fifties. So we end up with 3 times 68. 3 times 68 over 2. 68 is an even number. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. So 2 is going to drop out, 6 has 3 2's and 8 has 4 2's. So it turns out that our x is 34 times 3, 34 times 3, which is 12, carry 1, 9, 102. 102. Let's see if it actually makes sense. Let's see if it makes, actually makes sense, because what we are claiming is that, what we are claiming is that 150% of, 150% of 68 is what we're claiming is that 150% of 68 is 102. That's what we're claiming. It's no longer a question mark. That's what we're claiming. Let's see if it actually makes sense. Well, 100% of 68, 100% of 68 is of course 68. And on the 50%, on the 50% of 68 should be half of 68. Half of 68 is, if you divide 68 by 2, you're going to get 3 and a 4, 34, right here. 34. We add the map, we get 12, carry 1, and we get 10. Of course, it matches. It matches. Because 150% of something would have to be the same as the sum of 100% of the quantity and then 50% of the quantity, which agrees. Let's do one more, number 5. You should be doing this problem yourself. As soon as I finish writing the problem on the blackboard, it's not a bad idea to actually pause the video immediately, solve the problem yourself first, and then match your answer with the work that we do together. Do you understand? Number 5. 0.7% of 500 is what? 0.7% of 500 is what? Well, same exact thing. 0.7. 0.7 
percent means percent means out of 100 for 100 of means times 500 is means equal and what is our unknown that's it we see 100 in the bottom we see 500 in the top just divide top and bottom by 100 so this 100 is going to go away and the two zeros are going to go away and x is simply 0.7 times 5 we know 7 times 5 we know 7 times 5 is 35 and we have a decimal here so we need to move the decimal from here to here is 3.5 it is 3.5 it is 3.5. Does it does that answer make sense? Let's find out. Let's put it back in here and, see, and then we'll see if it makes any sense. Because what we're claiming is that what we're claiming is that 0.7%, 0.7% of 1500, 0.7% of 500 rather, 0.7% of 500 is three and a half. Let's see if it makes any sense. Let's do it here. Let's see if it makes any sense. Well, we know 1% of 500, how much do you suppose 1% of 500 is? 1% of 500 is 5. Well, if 1% of 500 is 5, it stands to reason then that the 7%, 7% must be the 7 times the amount, which is 35. Now that represents 7%. We don't want 7%. We want 0.7 percent. Well, if you want 0.7 percent, and this is seven times one, seven times one is seven. We don't want seven. We want 0.7. We need to divide this by ten. And if you're going to divide that by ten, we must divide that by ten. And if you divide that quantity by ten, five will drop out, and ten will become two, and we end up with seven over two, which is what do you know? Three and a half, same as before. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Solving a problem is like a jigsaw puzzle. All the pieces have to fit together. When you get the answer at the end, ask yourself, pause for a second, stop for a second and ask yourself, particularly when you're doing them for practice. In the real exam I can see that you're rushed for time, you're pressed for time and you, you don't have this luxury of stopping there and analyzing it to death. But when you're doing problems for practice, at the end, always stop and ask yourself, does the answer that I just got make any sense? Does it make any sense? Does it work? Does it fit? Do all the pieces of puzzle fit together? Do you understand? I know.